I am Dr. Ian Hennessy, a specialist in the study of the COVID virus that has affected everyone in the world. It has kept us cooped inside while we try to find ways to keep ourselves entertained. It's been over a year since the COVID pandemic started, and as of July 1st, there have been as many as 3.96 million COVID-related deaths in the world and over 183 million cases. In order to keep you and the people around you safe, I have come to give you some very important information. Hello everyone, we are here to talk about the symptoms of COVID and the flu because they are both very closely related. The main symptoms seem to be cephalodynia, rhinorrhea, pectoralgia, hyperhidrosis, pharyngodynia, and the lymphitis. So the main symptoms are head pain, runny nose, chest pain, oversweating, throat pain, and lymph inflammation. Yes, that is correct. Is cardiology a symptom of COVID? No, there's no link between heart pain and the COVID symptoms. How about pulmonalgia or pulmonopathy? Lung pain or disease is not directly linked to COVID, no. Other major indications of COVID would be cyanosis or hypopnea. A blue skin condition and other breathing are other major indicators? Yes, you are correct. Are there gastric problems that are related to COVID? We currently know of zero links between gastralgia or any stomach problems in COVID. How about some hepatic issues? No, hepatodynia or any other liver-related problems are f not from COVID. Are ocular or otary problems related to COVID in any way? Ophthalmologia, oculitis, or any eye-related issues are not directly related to COVID, and auritis, oralgia, and any other ear problems aren't related either. Some other symptoms include hypotrophic and zero pharyngosis issues. No eye or ear problems, but under nourishment and dry throat are symptoms. And finally, is insom asomnia linked to COVID? While no sleep condition isn't a direct symptom of COVID, it can be caused indirectly by all the other side effects or symptoms. Thank you all for coming to this meeting in order to learn more about the symptoms of COVID. Thank you, doctor. Now we can better diagnose ourselves with COVID. And you, Mr. Interviewer, are very welcome.